I'm Tony Poulos and I'm at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Today with Padeep Kohli, who is the CEO of Mavenir. Padeep, great to meet you. Great week for you, very big news. What was the big announcement this week? Well, we announced that uh, Mitel has signed a definitive agreement to acquire Mavenir Systems. Uh, we're quite excited about it. Uh, I would like to talk uh, for a minute about that uh, announcement. Um, as you know, Mitel is a very big player in the enterprise space or billion dollar revenue. Uh, in the enterprise space, people have already moved on to all IP environment with all the unified communication applications. We were in the mobile space, so we are in the mobile space. In mobile space, uh, 4G LTE is doing exactly the same thing, bringing networks to all IP. And Mavenir is uh, uh, helping operators to make the transition to all IP environment. And we will use the experience which Mitra has already done in the enterprise space to enhance that enhancement and enable uh, operators to do a lot more than what they're able to do today and bring unified communications in the all IP environment. And what changes can operators expect from NFV and SDN architectures? Yeah, so as you know, right, in the telecom environment, operators expect a very highly reliable systems. Uh, in the past, people believe that the highly reliable systems can be offered only if you run them on a proprietary hardware. And what the IT industry has proven, like Facebook, Google, and other companies like that, that you can actually do a scalable architectures without having proprietary systems. So now with the NFV and SDN technologies, what operators are trying to do is bring their own networks to, to be able to do things without using proprietary systems. And they'll be using the concept of virtualization and software-defined networking and to separate out software from hardware, not rely on proprietary hardwares, and to be able to use just general purpose hardware to offer their services. This will bring down cost, it will make it easier for them to introduce new services, it will help them manage the networks in a much better way. And what makes Volti or Voice over LTE different from traditional voice and, and how are operators going to benefit from it? Yeah, that's a good question. We are a big player in that market. Um, as you probably saw in the enterprise space, in the fixed, wire, uh, fixed space, that when people had internet at their home, you didn't have analog lines for, uh, for your phone, right? So you ended up just moving all the services onto internet. It's the same thing happening in a wireless network. When you do 4G LTE, think of that as a bringing internet to home. Now you're bringing internet to a mobile phone. And now there's no point using any other way of delivering the voice. You have to do voice on LTE. Well, how it helps the operator? They just now can have only one network for everything, for voice, for data rather than keeping a separate network for voice and separate for data. When you say that the network of the future will be built on software, what exactly do you mean by that? Yeah, so actually, you know, the, this is how I tell my customers and, uh, and also my employees. Today, the phone is more intelligent than the network. And this is the first time it has happened in the wireless industry. If you remember in the past, we used to have you know, GSM phones and UMPS phones. They had very little screen and only nine, nine buttons and it could do very very little amount of stuff, right? Now on the phone, it's like a big computer. You can pretty much do everything you can do on a computer on the phone. What that means now is that now, now network has to catch up with the phone rather than you know, phone being driven by the network. And that can only happen if the network is also software-based. It's not only hard-coded to do certain things. It can, it's a very agile, it can adapt itself, you can introduce new services very fast, you can try new things very fast, and that's what I meant by when I say the network has to become software driven now. And with the success of Vaulty, what other services can we expect on these new networks? So I think now there's no, see, but uh, Vaulty, what it did was, gave you what you had in the past, right? So people kind of have done very simple transition that now whatever you are able to do on 3G can, can be done on 4G with, on all IP. But that's just a you know, very small bar. Now what you can do with these phones, is, as I said, is unlimited. Right? So for example, uh, we have shown, showing in our booth number of services where you know, you're not really, uh, which you could not do in the past only on 3G, like combining voice and video together. Like I could actually say that, okay, here I am, show you a picture, and then immediately go back and start talking again. Right? So things like that, you will uh, much easier to do in an all IP environment 
and those will be possible to do now beyond Volti. Pradeep, thank you so much for explaining that to me and congratulations on the big acquisition announcement. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you very much.